Golf balls are much heavier than ping pong balls. Do not insert them into your vagina. This is from Abby. It's come into us on email, help at sexedmyboss.com. Dearest Jordan <clears throat> and darling William. Oh, I'll forgive you. Darling William. Today I bring you not a problem, but a tale of daring courage, bare lols and deep shame. Yeah, boy! I won't do that again. Sorry. I have been with my partner for three years now. and he's it's a new a pro- thing. And he is a professional golfer. Amongst other things, this seems to involve secreting golf balls wherever he goes like a careless and confused middle-class chicken. This tale begins before we had moved in together and on a mild English evening when I was staying over at his parents' house. We had adjourned to his bedroom where we were getting ready for bed. I saw a golf ball beside the bed and for reasons I know not, images of hilarious ping-pong shows sprung to mind. Before I had time to fully think it through, I said, watch this, before popping it up. We all know where. Fuck. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> he looked at me with horror and said, what have you done? Laughing, I replied, it's fine. Just watch. Are you? <laughs> I then tensed and pushed. But alas, the cheeky grin on my face slowly fell as I realised the ball was not moving. Shut up. I panicked and began trying to remove it manually to no avail. My partner tried, having the advantage of having an excellent view of my undercarriage. (laughs) And he's a good golfer, so... Could call this a hole in one for sure. This went on for some time until we genuinely considered the very real possibility I may have to go to A&E to get the little bugger removed. Jesus, what? This was, of course, not an option. No, right. Instead, my boyfriend went downstairs for a yoghurt so that we could use a teaspoon to prise the ball out. Jesus Christ. (laughs) I dread to think what his parents thought he wanted a yoghurt for at 11.30pm on a (laughs) Tuesday. This, we can't get any weirder. After what felt like hours, the spoon finally did the trick and I was ballless once again. (laughs) I'm very surprised that your advice hasn't covered this dangerous and hazardous topic yet, so I feel it is my duty to warn the nation. Golf balls are much heavier than ping pong balls. Do not insert them into your vagina. Right, so she did this trick with ping pong balls. No, well, there is it, it. There is a. There are. How do I put this? There's a, a sort of a cabaret act where, they will put a, ping pong ball, upon their person. <laughs> they bend over, and somehow they expel some air. Exactly. It sounds very much, like. <laughs> We watched, it was in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. We went to go and see that. There was a whole song in Act Two. Oh, I can't remember that. Um, right. So she was trying to recreate that with a golf ball. So that's her, what's she called? Abby. Abby McElroy there. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's her giving advice saying don't. Right. I'm not being funny. So. Remember we had the watermelon yeah, this scenario. Yeah, this is up there, as it were. So a couple, with the golf ball. A couple of series ago, basically someone walked in on the housemate having intercourse with a watermelon. We had the fan fiction from last season. And now we've got, let's just put this straight, first episode in, we've got golf balls up fannies. Yeah. 